this guy will have defensive coordinators scratching their head and throwing clipboards on game day. Welcome to Coach A's Football, WRE Edition. Are you ready? Let, 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 let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coach A's Football, the WRE Edition, Class of 22. This is the channel where we watch, react, and evaluate to the top talent in the nation. Today's episode is brought to you by Canesport.com. It is the place where you can find all the latest news on the Miami Hurricanes. Now, before we jump into one of the top tight ends in the country, do Coach A's a quick favor. Check out CoachAceFootball.com. It is the number one site for players, coaches, and fans. As well as, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And now we're going to check out this young man measurables right about now. All right, we're looking at Mr. Jaleel Skinner. He is a four-star according to Rivals. He's the number three tight end in the country. He's six foot five, 215 pounds, and he just transferred from Greer High School in Greer, South Carolina. He is playing his senior year at IMG Academy. Very interesting to see where that leads him. But here's the most interesting part. According to his Twitter feed, he has dropped his five uh, top schools. And he will be committing on October 8th uh, at 2 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. So be sure to check that out. His top five schools are Alabama, Texas, the University of Miami, Florida State, and Clemson. That's a great list if you ask me. And anybody be happy to have this dude. But we're going to check his film out here in a few seconds. So, Mr. Jalil Skinner. They say you're a tight end. They say you're a wide receiver. Maybe even a cornerback. I'm going to check you out right now and make sure you one of them things. Because if not, I'm going to give you the business. If you're balling, I'm going to let you know. So, Mr. Skinner, you about to get skinned up. And you about to get WRE, my man. Let's get it. All right, we checking out Mr. Jalil Skinner Jr. film right now. I know he is at IMG, but this is from Greer High School. Uh, he hasn't put his film out just as of yet, so when he does, we'll definitely update it. Let's get this thing rolling. Let's see what this man talking about. All right, here we go. Let's see what my man got here. And here's the interesting part, right? I meant to say this earlier too. Tight ends are no longer the, no longer traditional tight ends anymore. These dudes are just big old wide receivers, man. It's not like your old uh, uh, Jay Novacek if you go that far back, if you know what I mean. All right, so these guys are really just really big, athletic wide receivers. Come on. Uh, good way to break underneath. Great throw, great catch. Easy rock combination. Good run for the, for the tub, man. Look how big he is, man. I mean, look at his frame. 6'5", 215. He walked out of college easily 240. Good come off. Hey, watch how he just blow past Timmy, man. He just blow right past poor little Timmy. Look at this. This ain't even fair out here, man. It's just playing. Hey, that's like playing catch in the backyard with your daddy, man. All right, tight end action. Mm, threw him out the club. Hey, that's what you want to see. Only thing I'm going to say is I know it sounds crazy. He's just better than him right now. There's a little lack of technique in there. I'm sorry, man. This is a straight for little Timmy moment if you ask me. Bro, look at this stance. I know he in bad shape. This is going to be a highlight. This is a highlight tape, and you got a 12-yard head start. This can't be good, man. Let's go. Watch out, Timmy. Timmy done. Timmy done already. Tackle him, Timmy. Nah, coach. I don't want no parts of this, man. Look at this. Man, you supposed to be laying him out, Timmy. Timmy's like, no, no, I'm, I don't want that. Come on, Skinner. Good catch. He high points the ball. Like you said, you can just tell he's better than everybody else, man. Mm, threw, threw him out the club. Mm. Shows good aggression. Coming off the ball, like I said, some, it's some lack in fundamental and technique coming from that tight end position. The true tight end. Oh, good way to get offside. Let me pause it for a second. 
As I saw those two tight end clips, showed a little bit of lack of fundamentals and technique from the true tight end blocking side of it. Again, he's bigger, he can get away with it. But when you get into these leagues, these power five groups and these power five teams, man, you definitely got to get some uh, technique behind it. The defensive end is trying to go to the lead. I always say this, get outside. Uh, good, spin outside, let's go. Ah, gave him the, st nah, you ain't let him score, did you? All right. Oh, lower practice tape. Come on, red jersey. Come on. Come on. They can't even get him down, man. Hey, you got to be this big to get on this ride, baby. I need two tickets. Can't ride for free. <laughs> I'm loving it. Come on. Let's see what you're going to do. Yeah. yeah. He's doing a good job blocking. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just talking about how he's coming off, how he's doing it. Oh, good break. Let's go. Uh, I, oh, my God. Uh, get some. Hey, number 12, boy, you better, well, you better get in the lunch line twice, man, because my man eating your cookies. Uh, look at this. Get some. Yes, sir. This man at the punter, baby. Uh. Golly. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How far did he point this ball? Okay, ref is on the five. That's an excellent point. Man, that thing landed. It landed right here. So if he's at the five and it landed there, carry the one. Man, that's 55 yard plus the roll. Stops at the 35. Yeah, that's 55-yard point. Am I right? 65-yard point. Golly. Bro, number 12. Number 12. Is that 12 again? He killing you, bro. Put a little Timmy alert. I see it already. Timmy, you done. You got out your back pedal too late, and you gave him a straight run. Good way to come back and tackle them. So this is back to what I'm talking about, some speed, some top-end speed. Uh, I want to be able to see him pull away from guys. That's something I haven't seen yet on this film. I know it's only a junior film, but that's something I have not seen. Once he's in the open field, can he pull away from guys? You know what I mean? I haven't seen that yet, so it makes me question maybe some of his top-end top speed. Hmm. This man on special teams, he putting the team on his back. Let's go. First one down. All right, let's jump into the pros and cons of your game, man. One, you got the size. You have the ability to be a very good tight end at the college level and at the power five level. Like I say, 6'5", 215, by the time you walk out of college, they have you on the right training program. Of course, your body's still young. I can see you easily walking out of college 240, all right? Also, you're very aggressive, right, when you come off. Three, you catch the ball extremely well. Four, your routes are okay, but they can be a little bit better, so I'm going to split that between a pro and a con. You do a good job catching the ball and doing things with it afterwards, but I can see you doing a little bit better running those routes, coming out of them a little bit more crisp. That leads me into the cons of it, all right? Get more crisp with the routes. Two, I want to see more top-end speed, right? Once you get the ball in the open field, you got to either make guys miss or you have to outrun them. Also, something I didn't see you do was because you're six foot five, you have a big frame and a long arm. You have to be able to use that free hand out there to buy you some more time, keep the guys off you, keep them from around your legs so you can't take it to the house. Guys who probably can't take it with the top-end speed have to use other things that they – have in their arsenal, which is arms, ability, head movement, all those type of things in order to get free and take the ball to the crib. All right, other than that, Jaleel Skinner, you are a certified baller, my man. Trust me. If you are a fan of this page or you're a fan of even canesport.com, do me a quick favor, man. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And if you're a fan of any one of the five schools, hit the subscribe button and the, the notification bell so you are aware of anything that comes on this channel. And Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line.